Hey guys, welcome back to Hale's World and check it out, the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. And this puppy has some really cool features thanks to the awesome screens. So let me show you what it can do. Right off the bat, the beauty of this phone is definitely the cover screen. And there's actually quite a couple of things you can do. If you swipe towards the left hand side, you have access to a bunch of different widgets from music to a voice recorder, timer and a couple more. Not only that, if you swipe right to the end, you can add a couple extra widgets. So you can add Samsung Health for example, or a schedule to keep track of things. And of course, once you've added those, they appear in the main widget section and now you have access to a whole bunch of things without even having opened your phone once. I must admit the music widget is definitely my favorite and also super convenient, especially if you're a music lover. What's also nice about these cover screen widgets is you can choose to reorder them. So if you head into settings and scroll down to cover screen, once in here you'll see the option widgets and if you tap on it, right on the top right hand corner, you can click this reorder button and of course then reorder your widgets. So depending on which ones you use the most or least, you can go ahead, reorder them and of course once all of that is done and applied when you close your phone your widgets will now be in that exact order and you can just enjoy and also don't forget to stay till the end because i made some epic free wallpapers for you guys so now what's super convenient about this phone and the little cover screen is if i want to grab a quick selfie i just double tap the lock button it of course opens up the main cameras now i can see myself in the cover screen and snap a pic pretty nifty. Then if you swipe down or up on the cover screen, it actually changes between the different lenses or if you swipe between left and right, you can change the different modes. So whether you want photo or video mode, you can choose right there. And then there are a couple of different ways you can snap your pics. So first up, you can touch the screen, which will trigger a quick timer. You can also use the volume up or down buttons. And finally, you get hand gestures. So you just show your palm and snap your pic. That's it. Very snappy. Now I love that you can customize the cover screen just by clicking and holding down. A whole bunch of options then appear and of course you can go ahead and pick your favorite one. They have a couple of cool ones where these little characters are animated and every time you lock and then unlock your phone a new character appears with a new animation and this is with a couple of their other lock screens. But if you click and hold down again and swipe right to the end of the menu you'll see this cover screen settings option that prompts you to open your phone. From here you can customize things even further by choosing a background image. So once you tap on that, you can access your gallery, then choose your favorite picture, of course. So I just went with this one that matched the wallpaper. And now you can see you have a pretty epic custom cover screen. Once again, I really love that this is customizable and also that they have so many different options. So depending on your taste or style, there is definitely something for everyone. And I highly recommend you check this out and customize your cover screen. Then under settings within lock screen, there is also the option to toggle on all Always on display. Once you've toggled this on, as you can see, there are a couple of other extra options, but when your cover screen is now closed, you will have this always on display to indicate the time, day, date, as well as your battery percentage. Finally, if you swipe down on the cover screen, you can access your phone's brightness, as well as toggle between different volume modes like vibrate, silent, or off. Okay, now this phone has some really snappy cameras on it, but the built-in features are what really take this phone to the next level. So first, let's talk about flex mode. Once you open up the camera, as you start folding your phone, you'll see the preview window pop to the top of the phone. Now you can place your phone down just about anywhere and it automatically acts as a tripod where you can film yourself or take pictures. Then with this mode, if you click this little icon in the top left hand corner, the preview window drops to the bottom half of your phone and of course all the dials and controls are on the top half. You might be wondering why this is a feature or why they even did this and it's basically so you can get a better view of what it is you're shooting, especially when the camera is angled kind of steep. Another really cool thing you can do is if you click on this little icon in the top right hand corner, it activates the cover screen. So not only can I see what I'm seeing, but the person I'm taking a picture of can have a preview of themselves in the cover screen. 
Then if you're in video mode and tap on this little icon, it activates something called auto framing. And as the pop-up says, the camera zoom will automatically adjust as people move around, enter or leave the scene. This is a really cool feature and kind of similar to something Apple has, but is really useful for family calls or even Zoom meetings. And of course, don't forget to sub to the channel because we're on the road to 1 million. And if you subbed, that would be... It's the best. Love it. As I previously showed you guys, flex mode is not only good for the camera application, but actually it's really useful for a whole number of different things. From watching YouTube videos to scrolling your gallery and even chatting on Google Duo, having the ability to fold your phone and use it like this is beyond nifty. Another interesting feature when chatting about flex mode is under settings if you go to advanced features then select labs. In here not only will you see the option for multi window apps but if you click on flex mode panel you'll be able to select and toggle on specific applications that adjust whenever you fold your phone. So I just popped on Instagram as well as WhatsApp and now what happens is when I go and open up the app like Instagram for example and fold my phone it'll automatically pop to the top half of the screen just like this and leave the bottom half with this little toolbar. Within here you can adjust a couple of things like the volume as well as the brightness of your screen. If you want to take a screenshot you can also do that and if you tap this little icon it toggles down your notification panel. Here you can see exactly what this mode is doing and again it's very useful when placing your phone down and watching some content. So if you love split screening by opening multiple applications, then you are going to love this phone because you can multitask like a pro. So if you open up the edge screen panel menu and drag and drop any application like YouTube for example, you can then open the edge menu again and drag a new application into the split screen view. From there of course you can browse both applications and if you click and hold down on these three little dots then move, you can adjust the size of the split screen. So depending on the applications and what you're doing, you can get a really optimized view. Then if you click this little icon, it'll actually swap the applications, which makes it much easier than dragging and dropping again. And if you click on this little icon, it'll actually save this paired application split screen into your edge panel menu. So if in future at any time you want to quickly open up those applications, you can just click on your saved menu item and automatically, bam, they'll open up just as you saved them. As you can see, multitasking is a breeze. So on the Galaxy Z Flip 3, when you receive a call, it shows up on the cover screen just like this. And like with any other phone, you can just answer the call by swiping right, then have your entire conversation through the loudspeaker. How is your car's extended warranty? Well, you can decline the call. This is really convenient if you don't mind other people listening in on your call because it is on loudspeaker. You can also turn the volume down or up with the volume rockers if you want. But obviously you can still answer your calls by flipping your phone open and starting your conversation right away. As soon as you're done, you can then snap your phone closed. Although I kind of don't recommend flipping your phone open because it might just fly out your hand. I don't recommend. Then you may have been wondering if you receive notifications on the cover screen and the good news is you do. Whether it's Instagram, Gmail, SMSs or any application for that matter, this little orange dot lets you know you have notifications. You can scroll through all of them and check them out right on the cover screen and if you click on a notification then scroll down you'll see the option to reply. Once you click reply it'll prompt you to open up your phone and then from there you can start responding straight away to the message you just tapped on. I'm pretty sure I don't need to tell you guys just how awesome this is. I think the feature kind of speaks for itself. All right, then on to some quick tips and within settings under motion smoothness, you can toggle on adaptive to get a much smoother scrolling experience with that 120 hertz. I've said it so many times before, but it really does make such a huge difference. Then again in settings under advanced features, if you click on motion and gestures, then toggle on finger sensor gesture, you can use the fingerprint sensor to toggle down the notification panel and toggle it back up. Then believe it or not, you can also use wireless power share. All you do is toggle it on and once that's done, go ahead, close your phone and place it screen side down. Then basically go ahead and grab any device of yours, whether it's buds, your watch or even another phone, place it on the back and it'll start charging. 
So guys, I've made some epic Z Flip 3 wallpapers that you can download for free from my website, hailsworld.com. I will have a link for you guys down below in the description box, and I try to keep that folding theme in mind. This is a really cool little eye-catching design, and sometimes people are pretty shocked. There are quite a couple of different ones to choose from, and if you decide to use one, go ahead and tag me on social media, whether it's Twitter or Instagram. I'd love to see your home screens. And again, don't forget these wallpapers are completely free to download and use. So guys, if you enjoyed this video of the Galaxy Z Flip 3, then don't forget to like and subscribe, or you can check out some of my other videos right over here. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!